In this video, we are going to integrate this. We are going to integrate this. So as always, zoom into this bit here. Create a triangle in such a way that this thing will be true. So make, um, make the hypotenuse to be x, make the adjacent to be 2, then the opposite will have no choice but to be this. So now notice that this matches up with this. We can extract this later on. Well, looking at this triangle here, uh, let's secant, remember this is secant here, secant theta equals um, hypotenuse over adjacent, hypotenuse over adjacent, so x equals this, so dx equals this. So now we, uh, later on we can put this into the, into the dx, and then, uh, and then we're lo looking at it, well, don't forget we need to, um, we need to extract this. So looking at the, uh, the triangle, um, if, if you look at tan, tan theta is opposite over adjacent. So tan theta is opposite over the adjacent. So 2 tan theta equals this. So now we can put this into this block here. And then, uh, and then we need x to the power of 3. So let's have a look at this, x to the power of 3. Have a look at this here. So looking at this, x to the power of 3 means um, 2 times 2 times 2, so that would be 8 to the power of 3 here. We could put 8 secant to the power of 3 into, into here. So this whole thing here will then become this. Uh, because, uh, because your dx here is this thing, which is this thing here. And then, uh, and then this thing here is, um, is 2 tan theta which is this thing here, and then to the power of 3, this is to the power of 3. So this whole thing here would then become this. So now some, it's just a matter of simplification. So simplify the thing. Um, 10 would cancel out with 10, 2 would cancel out with 2. You've got 1 over 8 here. 1 over 8 is a constant, so take it out. That will then give you this. And uh, you've got secant, and then secant to the power of 3. That's 1 over secant squared. So, uh, so this whole thing tidied up will then give you this thing here. And then tidy this thing up, that will be cos squared. So now, by now, I'm expecting you to be able to integrate cos squared, because we've seen this many times. So just jump to this. Um, so that will then, so this thing here will then become, will then become, uh, will then become this. So now tidy this up, this times this will be this, this times this will be this. So this is your answer, but the thing is, we don't want the answer in terms of theta, because here you've got sine theta, cos theta. So going back to the diagram, so going back to the diagram, so this, this was all the way from, from above, uh, we need to translate this. So sine, sine would be this, sine, sine theta would be opposite over hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. So, so this thing here is 1 over 16, and then this sine thing here becomes this. And then translate cos theta, well, cos is this thing here. So that would be 2 over x. That would be 2 over x. And then uh, we need to translate theta. Well, if you look at this, um, let's, let's have a look at, te uh, hang on, we need to translate theta. So let's, let's look at this thing here. So secant theta equals x over 2. So secant theta is x over 2. Now looking at this, if you want theta on its own, then, um, then inverse both sides. So that would then give you this. So theta equals this. So we can put this into theta. And then that would then give us this thing here. And then, uh, and then yeah, and then tidy this thing up. That would then give you this. So your overall answer would be this thing here. Okay?